Ever gone to Texas Roadhouse and found yourself wondering what to order? Is the sirloin worth it? Is the prime rib up to snuff? This rundown of the very best Roadhouse cuts will help you make up your mind in no time. Well, I could use a steak. We're not totally sure where the name choice came from, but it might have something to do with how the dish looks after the steak has been piled with sautéed onions, sautéed mushrooms, and jack cheese. It's not a bad menu item by any means, but that being said, this is probably our least favorite steak option at Texas Roadhouse. That's not because the flavor is bad, but because it feels like you're eating a burger, not steak. If we're looking for an authentic steak experience, we're not going to choose the chop version. That being said, if you're looking for a good meat dish for a great price, you'll be happy with Roadkill. We have no major complaints about this cut of meat, and it comes at a reasonable price. This dish is the most economical way to get an authentic steak experience. However, with so many other juicy steaks on the menu, the problem here is that this option is rather lackluster. It's perfectly acceptable, but it's not the best. One TripAdvisor review from a repeat customer summed it up like this. I think I have tried everything on the menu, and it would be hard to pick a favorite, but my least favorite would probably be the sirloin, but that's because the sirloin is just not the best cut of meat. Prime rib is a beautiful cut of meat that is known for being juicy, tender, and indulgent. While Texas Roadhouse offers a tasty prime rib at a decent price, it's still just acceptable. Reviews are somewhat inconsistent. While some customers seem to love this dish, others find it disappointing. It's often described as being overcooked by the time it comes to the table, with some customers finding some parts of their single slice of meat too tough, while other parts were perfectly tender. And any good restaurant knows, consistency is key. The Fort Worth ribeye is similar to a bone-in ribeye, but without the, well, bone. This does give the steak less flavor than the bone-in version, but it's still a great cut of meat that customers love. With marbling throughout the steak, the Fort Worth ribeye is certain to make your mouth water. It's great on its own, but is equally tasty when paired with some steak sauce. If you enjoy a good ribeye but don't like dealing with the bone, this is an excellent option. It also comes with two side options, like most dishes at Texas Roadhouse, and you can't go wrong with any of them. It's not uncommon for smaller cuts of meat to be overcooked and tough, but that's not the case with Texas Roadhouse's filet medallions. This dish comes with three three-ounce filets that are each cooked to perfection just how you like it. They're also served on top of deliciously seasoned rice, which is only offered with a couple of the steak dishes. What are the downsides to this meal? You only get nine ounces of steak total without the option to increase your portion size. A lot of that plate space is taken up by the seasoned rice, but this is a great dish for people who aren't huge carnivores and want a little more to their meal. Similar to the filet medallions, you might expect a kebab to be tough and overcooked. If we were at a family barbecue, we might agree with you, but kebabs are done differently at Texas Roadhouse. This steak is marinated and cooked to your desired temperature, giving it an ideal flavor and texture. It's also served with onions, mushrooms, tomatoes, red pepper, and green peppers. If you want a variety of flavors and textures in your steak dinner, this is a great option to choose. However, our beef with this one is similar to what we found with the filet medallions, and that's simply that you're looking at less meat than a standard cut of steak. A New York strip is super tender and flavorful. Fans consistently rave about Texas Roadhouse's take on this classic, which comes in an 8-ounce thick cut or 12-ounce traditional cut. Countless reviews use terms like excellent, perfection, and superb, and that's what you want to hear about your steak. The New York strip tastes similar to the sirloin but offers more tenderness and flavor. Consider it a tastier and slightly more expensive upgrade. Everything goes well with a strip steak, so choose whatever looks good to you on the menu. The only downside to this cut of meat is that it isn't as tender as some of the remaining cuts. If you don't mind a little chew, this is a great pick. The Porterhouse T-Bone is a delightfully juicy piece of meat that will impress everyone around you. With so much flavor and meat packed into this dish, you might be wondering why it isn't ranked as our number one option. This really comes down to the bone inside, which causes a couple of potential issues. Having a large bone stuck in the middle of your steak requires a bit more maneuvering with your steak knife than a boneless option, and we're out to dinner to relax, right? The bone also makes it a little trickier to create an even cook throughout the steak, so you may find yourself enjoying medium-rare bites alongside well-done bites. Still, it's a fantastic item that's definitely worth ordering, and then going back to order again. You know what? I am going to have that third steak after all. Go ahead and put that order in now. Please and thank you. This dish is similar in many ways to the Fort Worth ribeye, except for one key element. The bone-in ribeye keeps the rib bone attached to the meat while it's cooked. While this does create the potential for some uneven cooking, it adds so much additional flavor that is 100% worth it. 
This menu item comes in a hefty 20-ounce portion and can be cooked to your liking. And many reviewers suggest Texas Roadhouse has top-notch prep. One TripAdvisor review even said, Bone-in ribeye steak was great and delicious as what I had in New York City. Tender, juicy, packed with flavor, and comes with two delicious sides? You really can't go wrong with this menu item. It loses out to our number one pick, but just barely. This steak is by far the best thing you'll find on the menu in this restaurant, which is saying a lot. It's unbelievably tender and packed with authentic flavor. It's also seasoned well without overpowering the meaty flavor you look for in any steak dish. Although it's one of the most expensive cuts of meat per ounce, you're still getting a great deal for the quality of the dish. Paired with two sides, you've got yourself a fabulous meal that will hold its own against fancier restaurants. Trust us, this is one of the best steaks you'll eat without spending a fortune, and it'll definitely have you saying, Get in my belly! Check out one of our newest videos right here. Plus, even more mashed videos about your favorite restaurants are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.